So while I'm getting into the file, um, just let me bring up a spreadsheet. So I've got a spreadsheet. So think about maybe I took that survey data and I brought it over and created uh, you know several sheets in this file. So one for each type of utility that I want to to track or bring in. Um, and so I've got their location and their elevation that was surveyed. Um, I've added an owner, an um, operational status, investigation level, and an invert. So I just simply, you know, the bottom of the power poles five feet below ground. Um, overhead electric, you know, I've got same. I've got the start and the X and Y location of the beginning of the line, end of the line, and the location, elevation location at the start and stop. So think about, you know, the overhead wires, they located those, let's say, all the way through to like my culverts and my walls. So we'll, we'll come back to this spreadsheet. Let me, let me go ahead and open the file up. So when creating this spreadsheet, you know, it help, it's helpful to kind of understand what it is, you know, what the utility properties in the DGN will need. So as you start to work more with the utilities and you know the properties, the utility properties of a node, for example, you know that they need location and they know that, and it's, you know, that's the name of the property, location point Y, location point X and elevation top. And you know that there's a property for owner and operational status and so forth and so on. And, and so as you, as you create your, create this data in your, in whatever it is, whether it's, um, shape file or or access database or whatever you know the way that you create the column headings if they match what is expected in the subsurface utilities or the underground or the drainage utility database properties then it makes it easier because basically what model builder is is a tool that t tells us how to map from one source to another and that source being uh shape files or or what have you, and to to the drainage utility database that's embedded in our DGM file. So that get, kind of shows you just you know wasn't hard to set up you know the columns and so forth. But I did take uh, extra care in naming them so that it made mapping easier. So you'll see that. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.